Welcome back to Ford Field here in Detroit for Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Jason Wagon and Jim Holly. And we tell you every week that anything can happen in this sport. And Jim, we really mean it now. We have no idea what is going to happen tonight. Our points leader, Chad Reed, could be out for tonight's racing. Well, we just have to wait and see. You know, if that heat race, if he comes out for the heat race, how bad is he injured? He had that practice crash in the timing section where he tried to triple, went down. Unfortunately, he had to get carted off and taken in an ambulance to the hospital to get checked out. He was uh, coughing up blood, so hopefully Chad Reed's okay and he can rebound. The key for him is all he has to do is start that heat race, and he can, if he doesn't feel good, he doesn't have to ride the last chance, he can take that provisional to get into tonight's main event and try to gain some sort of points. On the other hand, if he doesn't come back and he can't ride tonight, Kevin Windham wins. Kevin Windham will be two points behind going into next week into St. Louis. So a lot, a big turn of events here tonight in Detroit. And the door is wide open, you would think, for someone else to win a race. Chad's won the last two. And then we look at the practice times and everybody's stepping it up because there's a little proverbial blood in the water. Well, even though Chad Reed got hurt in that first practice, he still had the fastest time with a 50.5. But like you said, everybody knows Chad Reed's injured. He didn't ride the second practice. His teammate, Josh Hill comes out and turns a 48-6, Wyndham a 48-8, wow. and Davey Millsaps a 49.0. So all these guys are stepping up. They know that, you know, they smell the blood, so to speak. When Chad Reed's out, they're all going for it tonight. And uh, Josh Hill, kind of an interesting situation. It's kind of up to him to maybe hold the Honda riders back there. He could cost Kevin Wyndham some points. Josh Hill, again, was faster than everyone in this second qualifying session. Well, and I got to go back to the Nationals when Grant Langston was going for a championship in Freestone uh, in, in Texas here. Hill did get into the middle there and gained Grant Langston some time. So that's going to be the key thing, like you mentioned, for a guy like Josh Hill. Very important for him to try to win this because if Kevin Wyndham gets second, that's going to take three more points away. And Chad Reed will still have a five-point lead if he doesn't ride going into St. Louis. So very important for the Yamaha rider to get up there on the top box. A lot of buzz going around here in Ford Field. No one's sure what's going to happen. And that's just our Supercross class. We go to the lights class. We know Ryan Villopoto is going to put on a charge, and he continues to charge tonight. Well, we'll see if he can make it three in a row. Like we said, you know, uh, he went out there in the first practice session, and Ryan Villopoto, he actually set second fastest lap time. The rival that, have, that does not have a win, yeah. Josh Grant, uh, set the fastest time. But they come back for the second one. And it's Villapoto with a 50.3, Kennard with a 50.9, and then you got Grant with a 51.3. So a lot of interesting things. I think the track here tonight in Detroit is going to be great. I mean, uh, David Billiman designed it. It's got a lot of good technical timing sections. The dirt is perfect. You're not going to get any better dirt in Supercross than here in Detroit. All right, so it should be great for racing. Basically, tune into our webcast at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And we should know the latest on Chad Reed. But even by then, we might not know if he's racing or not. You basically have to wait until we go heat racing, which is about a quarter to eight for the Supercross class. It's going to be wild. Yeah, but, you know, Chad's a pretty tough competitor. I, I guarantee you that he's going to do whatever it takes to get that Yamaha on that line for the heat race. And if he's injured, you know what? Larry Brooks and all the guys around, they'll say, look, Chad, just take the, start the line, go back to the truck and rest, and try to get yourself mentally prepared for that main event. You know what? What a huge win it would be if Chad Reed could come back from that injury and come back and win the main event. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to do it, but if anyone can do it, he can do it. Yeah, he's a tough guy. It's going to make for an interesting night of racing, so keep it tuned right here to supercrossonline.com.